CTR. Next up on WCTR, the news. We try to make it interesting and not depressing. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they and why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs of... News. Let's be careful. Coming soon to the Los Santos Convention Center, it's Mike Andrews. Understand that it's okay to be poor. There need to be poor people. We rich are the yin. You are the yang. We need you. He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Riches. Now hear Mike Andrews live. Mr. Andrews, I I've had a run of bad luck, and I was wondering if the state could help me get back on my feet. This is the negative kind of self-obsessed and greedy talk that doesn't help anyone. My program will teach you a new outlook on life. Instead of complaining about being poor, enjoy it. Watch TV. Don't vote. Who cares? But I'm homeless. You've got it all wrong. Society doesn't owe you anything. The government has better things to worry about, like killing innocent people. You already have everything you need, so enjoy your life. It's Derek Thackeray in the tight end zone. 
brought to you by Eris Pump Up Shoes because women love a winner and winners wear shoes. Did we uh, start with the national anthem? Uh, yeah, yeah, screw it. Yeah, I got, I got two drunk last night. Just uh, play the opening music. Pump one, put two. Ah! Welcome back to the Titan Zone. Now it's time for something really important. Fat men talking about games they don't really understand, played by people that they I'm your host, Derek Zachary. What a great year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. <laughs> and the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is in mourning. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes. He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, he'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports more than you love it or loathe it. Let's talk about it. Stay in the tight and... Let's go to the phones. Yeah, the Wolves. Hey, Derek, my name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote. I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. <laughs> okay, the Wolves. That's team playing sports as if they cared. Yeah, the Wolves. I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. <laughs> I'm married, so uh, sliding down. When has running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night drunk. And, oh, it was... Anyway, <laughs> fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary gland. I love the Callies, man, but you know, this year, I'm telling you, they're going to need to score some points and get some yardage and win the game. Yeah, if they don't win, men will be beating their wives with good reason. Hey, they got to start playing to win, trying to score some on the other team. I wish I had a wife so she could beat me. <laughs> Here's what I say, man. If you want to be... Things get really complicated. Man, I was at their training camp this spring, and the mood in the locker room, dude, guys were getting changed, man. I mean, they were really getting prepared. Shoes were going on, feet, shirts were going on, the shirt part of their body, serious faces on them, and you could tell that they were gonna play this game. Bottom line is, if they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win. Yeah, man, God, you have some Spooky insights in the sport, dude. I love your show, man. I, I love you. In front of...
Or could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the tight end zone. <laughs> McIntyre, let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy. My wife and I love your show. It really helped. Aw, oh, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. Okay. Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my wrists. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phones? It's a big, lonely state out there. Keep on, well, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. Don't want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years now. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice me. I get away with it all the time now. <laughs> Thank you